Hey guys, it's you Johnny Awesome Sauce, and today I'm gonna be playing some uh, Minecraft, and um, I'm gonna be showing you how to find Netherite the quickest and most inexpensive way to find Netherite. So today we're gonna be doing a strategy which is both cost efficient and really reliable to find Netherite. Um, so as you know, Netherite is better than diamonds now, basically. Um, it's better than Nether. You can basically make. Uh, netherite armor and tools and stuff with netherite and it's way better than that or it's better than diamond at least so after we got that out of the way we're going to be showing you what you want to bring to the nether um to find this netherite what you might want to bring and um how what strategy we're going to be using okay guys um so as you can see in this chest it might be a little bright um but i'll just tell you what they are so i i recommend a diamond pickaxe do by the way do not mind uh, netherite with a iron uh, pickaxe can actually break netherite so it has to be diamond or netherite so I'd recommend just diamond because you probably don't have netherite and that's what you're trying to watch this video for so I'd also um, recommend to enchant your diamond pickaxe because um, it's so slow to mine netherite and I'd also bring some armor so let's just collect all this uh, plus the sword you also want to bring some food and you might want some potions of fire resistance and the thing that we're actually gonna blow up or the strategy that we're gonna blow up is with beds yes um i'm gonna be showing you where the best y level to find obsidian or uh, netherite is and where um that is it's actually at level 15. so if you see in the top right corner or top left corner there's like three numbers and the middle one is uh, gotta be uh, number tr number 15 so we got our diamond pickaxe we got our food and we got our fire resistance so you don't need fire resistance but I recommend it if you will die in lava so what I'd recommend is I would just dig down do not dig straight down you'll just fall into lava uh, magma is also very common in this so we'll, we're gonna speed this up and we'll see you down there Okay guys, um, so we are now at Y level 15. I'm just gonna get some netherite or just a block so I can fill in these holes. So we are at level Y15 now and um, basically what you wanna do is you wanna just strip mine super far. So I'm gonna two times this again and we'll see you when, uh, once I think it's a big enough strip mine. So here we go. Uh, guys, also remember you might want to bring a shovel. It's not record. It's not. Uh, um, it's not. It's not. Um, it's not like a priority, but you should still bring it if you are afraid of gravel. Let's continue. Something I also want to mention is if you uh, like are mining in this type of biome where like there's these. Uh, black blocks called they're new in the nether I forget what they're called um, I'd recommend to not blow up near here because they'll actually have a less explosive radius so I'd recommend exploding your beds in near netherrack <laughs> not netherite so let's continue just just a tip um, it's very useful uh, just don't mind in a different direction or something just to avoid it um, yeah let's continue Okay guys, I think this is far enough. Um, I might need to make it a bit bigger, a bit, a bit longer, but um, now what you wanna do is you wanna grab your shulker box and I just recommend putting it somewhere. Uh, maybe it exposed, oh, never mind. <laughs> make sure to put it like, like that so it faces up so you can actually open it. So once you take this, you will take all your beds. Um, here, it's gonna avoid. It's gonna have some better inventory. And then what you wanna do is, or actually you wanna pick it up again, cause then um, the beds won't explode it. So you wanna place your bed, okay? 
you don't want to like break your bed like you normally would you want to actually okay i definitely need that so what you you want to actually sleep in the bed so there we go you place it you sleep it explodes so i'd also recommend just to get as far back you don't have to place a block i don't really like that strategy just make sure you have good armor especially in, your, in survival you could take a bit of damage it so um yeah it's probably not going to kill you but i definitely recommend armor just so you're out of the safe zone and i also recommend maybe maybe a few golden apples just in case you're in case like you didn't bring fire resistance at least bring golden apples right um just to give you a better chance of surviving so as you do this it makes these big holes and then i'll show you what netherite is um i think yeah i see some netherite in the distance it's pretty easy to see actually um so let's continue I'd also recommend um, beating the game. I, I would definitely, um, the, the shulker boxes are just for a space, um, so you can have more beds. So that's actually to beat the, uh, you need to beat the end, and you need to get like, you need to find them, you need to basically destroy shulker boxes in the, uh, in the, what do you call, end city. And um, yeah, so there we go. So after you've done that, you wanna just, here, I'll just put these beds somewhere. Just put all your beds somewhere. And you want to grab your diamond pickaxe and you want to look for a block that um, looks like that. So, actually, this is not actually called netherite. This is called um, this is called netherite scrap or ancient debris actually. So basically, you need four, eight, uh, four of these blocks to make, um, to make netherite. So basically, you want to take the four ancient debris Put it in a furnace, cook it up until it's netherite scrap, and then you want to craft those netherite scraps with four gold, four gold ingots, and make them into an iron ingot. And then to actually make a, um, like to put the netherite ingot on your diamond sword, or yeah, um, you want to put, make a smithing table, which is um, basically a crafting table. It's kind of like a fletching table, but instead of, uh, uh, what do you call it? flint on the top, it's actually going to be uh, iron, two pieces of iron and two pieces of flint. Okay, so we're going to change our game mode to survival now, so I can actually mine this uh, for you guys. So as you can see, it does take a little while. Um, that's with my efficiency 5, right? Um, so here's more. And by the way, Y15 is definitely the best, um, or what I've heard, the best um, coordinate to, to find netherite. So I just keep on doing this. Um, also remove this... Uh, just remove all the, what do you call it, fire. You don't want it to go in the lava, obviously, or the fire, or else it'll burn. Just avoid that. Um, just put blocks on the lava so it stops it. Um, continue. As you can see, there's lots of gravel too. You might want a, uh, a shovel, as I said. At least I get blocks in survival, which is cool. <laughs> That's something good about survival. That you can actually break the blocks when you actually get the items, when you break them. <laughs> so as you can see, by just probably like, oh, I'd say, um, what do you call it, 20 beds. Oh, and I forgot to tell you how, how to get beds. If you don't know, um, I'd recommend a sheep farm. Um, just white wool is probably the most ideal because it's, uh, white sheep are the most common sheep in the game, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you definitely want to get a sheep farm to make beds. And also, with the wool, you also do need, uh, what do you call it? You will need wood. So, make sure to grab some wood too. Um, you don't need a farm for that, but, you know, maybe you can make a sapling farm. It's kind of useless, but still. <laughs> Just, um, also for wood, I'd recommend to go to a dark oak biome. Um, so, they're like the big tree biomes, they give a lot of wood. Um, so... What you want to do here, just to cover up the lava, because there's ancient debris right there, you want to go up to the level of the lava source. Looks pretty obvious, just the top of it, where it starts, the lava. And then it'll keep on falling down. Um, while you're here, you can just keep on filling them out. Maybe we can find some hidden ancient debris, you know. Um, also, you can see all those like yellow things, they're, they're gold. So if you have like a fortune pickaxe, um, they're really good to mine. Okay, let's not do what I just did. See, this is why you have armor, okay? Uh, 
Yeah, so is that gonna go down? Yes. Okay, so as you can see, by I'd say on average one ancient debris per two beds. So yeah. And I'd all, I'd probably recommend like seven ingots ingots. So I'd recommend probably around two shulker boxes of beds. Probably around fifty beds to get a full set of netherite, I'd say. Um, just cause you want to get all the armor netherite, you want to get your uh, sword, you want to get your pickaxe, you want to get your shovel, not a hoe, unless unless you want to, but um, yeah, and of course the axe and the armor. Um, you don't have to do your elytra though, <laughs> so um, if you don't have elytra, just do a chest plate or something. Um, let's continue here, and that actually does cost eight iron ingots. So guys, um, we have just finished the trail. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video of Johnny Awesome Sash. Make sure to like and subscribe already. And uh, by the way, I haven't posted in like three weeks because the other time I attempted to record this, um, an Amber alert came on my phone and it stopped my recording. So yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video of Johnny Awesome Sash. Make sure to like and subscribe already. And peace.